It was good, man. I uh, want y'all to go out, like, comment, subscribe before we get started. But, um, man, for this, I just want to talk about the uh, the latest Jaguar Wright interview that we just did. Um, man, uh, let's do it like this, man. We dropped that interview. We want to keep it a surprise that we even got back with Jag. Uh, we didn't want to let the people know that, hey, Jag is doing another real-life interview. So we try to keep that under wraps. We try to keep it a surprise. Um, as you saw, uh, man, she's back in form like she never left. Uh, she did a dope interview um, getting right to the Diddy situation. Uh, first, addressing uh, kind of why she's been gone for the past year and why she was on hiatus. And uh, she touches briefly uh, on her jail stint. Uh, mind you, this is just part one. So, um, you know, part I think part four, she goes in or part three, I think uh, she goes more deep into her her jail stint and why she got caught up in that whole situation of what happened. But for this one, man, we just really want to hone in on um, the Diddy situation, uh, how she knew. I know a lot of people who watched the real life interview prior was wondering how did, how did uh, Jaguar know that all that was going to happen? How did she know that all that was going to come down on P Diddy? Um, who knew? Um, obviously she knew, you know what I'm saying? Jaguar, you have to understand that she was on the song with Jay-Z uh, song cry, or at least doing the MTV Unplugged, uh, where she was with Jay-Z. Mind you, that's when cameras are on. So when cameras cut off, you know that they're going to, um, of course, still talk, still laugh, still party, probably go out to eat, still probably get on a tour bus, still do things outside of that. And uh, you can see pictures with Jaguar with uh, Free, uh, Jaguar with... Um, uh, with a few people, with Common, with The Roots. I mean, Jaguar has been in the industry. Uh, so therefore, if you see that she's saying something, I mean, it at least give you point to listen. But everything she said that was going to happen prior is technically kind of coming to fruition now. Uh, no one saw P. Diddy's house getting raided. Uh, no one saw the allegations coming down from Cassie. She did say that, young Miami, you better run. That's what she said. Uh, run faster than Cassie. That was in the last interview. Yeah. She gave Young Miami a warning and Young Miami didn't take heed. So now even she's being named in these lawsuits. And um, it's crazy how everyone, Diddy, Young Miami, everyone acts normal as you're supposed to. As your lawyer will tell you, do normal things. Post like normal. Do not show that you're guilty. We're going to win in a court of public opinion. Everyone knows who P. Diddy is. It's hard to find a jury who doesn't know who, uh, who P. Diddy is. So with that being said, you got to you know, you know, you got to get get prepped. So with that being said, um, man, uh, yeah, Jaguar, right? Uh, outs more of the Diddy stuff. She talks about what's coming next for Jay-Z. Um, she says some crazy stuff. She even mentioned Beyonce about Jay-Z's mistresses having babies, uh, aborting them and stuff. And Jay Beyonce not being able to hold a baby crazy stuff man if y'all haven't went to go watch that interview please watch it it's part one is about a good 45 minutes um again it's just uh good to have her back good to have her on the couch good to have her speaking again uh again real life in jaguar right uh we started this thing uh like right before covid or something man uh or you know during that time and um no matter what happens i think uh you know we're intertwined to ride this thing together. So it's great to have her back. Great to have her speaking her truth again. And again, this is her truth. I I can't cooperate none of this. Everything's allegedly, in, you know, from my understanding. I don't know what the hell she's seen or what's going on, but everything is allegedly. And um, yeah, uh, Jaguar Rice interview is at 500K in less than 30 hours. I'm sorry, less than 24 hours. It's at 600K in less than 30 hours. So it's just steady building. So thank y'all for running it up, man. Y'all make sure y'all hit the Real Life Street Stars platform. Go run the interview up, man. It's going crazy right now. But Jaguar Wright is back. Uh, she is popping her stuff. And uh, we love to see it, man. Y'all go check it out, man. Jaguar Wright returns the Uncensored Truth Part 1. Let's get it.